Hello, good evening, happy March. It's almost springtime, and you know what that means. Get outside and enjoy yourself, and maybe take advantage of some of these items that I have been doing for you for unboxing, and maybe you have bought some other items that you will want to use on the outside. Hello, this is Colin from Heaven Skies Drone Images. Just wanted to tell you a while ago that I had did a, um, an unboxing of a digital voice recorder 10. Here it is. Just wanted to give you an update. Apparently um, it's been a popular item. Um, I have been using it a lot. It does work great. Uh, the charge lasts for a long time. The most I probably have used my digital recorder was definitely over four hours. So, with that said, I was like, hmm, with the 16 gigabyte voice recorder pen, how can I, un, um, you know, up, up it? So, I did a little searching on the internet, uh, on Amazon, of course. I came upon a video recorder pen. Um, excuse me if I announce the company wrong, but it's Umfound, Y-U-M-F-O-N-D. Um, I have the pen here. I am going to do this unboxing today. I picked it up a little while ago. So today we're going to open it. I'm going to show you what's inside and then I will show you some examples like I did with the digital voice recorder. I have here in my hand the HD camcorder. A high definition digital video camcorder. On the front of the box, it says made in China. It's HDC 1080p 720p. On the back, it lets you know uh, mini DV features, HD video and imaging recording, smooth playback, and natural true color, multifunctions, and easy to use. Uh, very good sound recording widely supported file formats, efficient and stability and rapid response applied fields is very wide. So here's a couple examples on the back of the box. So it's basically the same size as a digital recorder box but the thickness is a little bit more. So we're going to open it. First thing I'm going to notice, nothing on the back of the front. Uh, there is a warranty card, 30 days money back guarantee, lifetime warranty, and it is guaranteed 100%. Please save this card for any issues. You can contact us via the info on the back and get a full refund or warranty. Here's the information on the back. Here's the card. So the next thing you notice is here's your pen in a wrap with plastic. So I'm just going to take the pen out of the wrapper. It's almost like the, the uh, audio pen, but it looks to be a little smaller. Uh, it is thicker, and on first glance, I'm not sure where the video, oh, I see the video. Um, it is a regular pen. So we're going to take the plastic off. Upon inside the box, this time, unlike the recorder pen for audio, you only get two ink cartridges. In here, looks like you get a regular USB port cable in a very protective wrap. Here are the plugs. Uh, and you get instructions just like in the voice recorder. Now I do have the voice recorder pen here. Sorry again for going out of frame, but I'm going to hold the two up to see the comparison. The voice recorder is on the bottom. It is a little bit longer. Maybe the fact that this is a safety cap to protect the start of the recorder. So we don't want to go by that, so if you were to line it up here, it's probably almost the same size. But as you can see, 
It is a little bit thicker. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to probably charge the pen. And while the pen is charging, I'm going to probably read the directions. Well, I will read the directions. And I will let you know what they say. And then we'll show some examples. And then I'll come back for my final thoughts. So before I go and charge my pen, I just wanted to show you a little something. So I have unscrewed the pen. See, all right, here's the pen that's unscrewed. Here is the writing utensil part. In order to make the writing, you twist the bottom up, down, up, down. Simple. Now here is what the video part looks like inside. So you have the charge cable that goes here. And here's the other end. I guess at this point, it really is only one way you can do it. This is the computer way. See, you can't put it on. But here's the other end that plugs into here. Has to go one way. Otherwise, it doesn't snap. It can't go that way. So you don't want to force it. You want to shove it. And it takes a little second. And da, 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 da. there it goes. Here's the way. So you want to make sure the top part of the contacts is hitting this contact. So you put it in, and this will be ready to charge. Now, just a quick reminder um, I have charged it through the computer. Um, you don't have to charge it through the computer. If you also have um, a plug, USB port, like you charge with your phone, you can plug it into that. Normal, no, not an Apple plug, just a regular USB port. The reason I like to plug mine through the computer for the first time is if there's any software to be downloaded onto the computer, um, just so if, it, you know, like when you uh, put something new in the computer, it says, ah, oh, software recognizing. So this way it's all done and ready to go. maybe six inches away from my mouth I am outside I just trying to see the range and the clarity of the recorded audio now I'm at arm's length still outside testing one two three testing one two three guesstimate where 
you are. You have no eyepiece, so you cannot line up your subject. Hello, welcome to the It's Almost End of the Video. This is the segment I like to call My Final Thoughts. Well, so far, we've discussed the spy pen, which can record audio and video. So, let's just do a quick recap of what you learned so far. I just showed you what was inside, directions, warranty card, don't need to worry about that. Comes with three cartridges. The one part I did also reluctant to let out was you're going to need an SD card for this pen. I did um, attach in my video an SD card which will work with the pen. For that price you do get two of these and the small one is what you are going to be using. See, this one is empty because it's in my pen. Um, here is the product. And the other important part that I left out of the video in the beginning was this little pointy, like, pitchfork thing. The pointy end, because in the uh, pen, there's an L1, which records audio only. L2 is the video. So you're going to need something like this to switch between the two. Okay, so for my final thought, um, I did run into some problems with the pen. As you can see in the, uh, the video, I gave you some examples of audio and video. Um, I did have the pen in a shirt pocket, such as this. I used the clip because the video camera is right here. The indicator of what it is doing, like charging, or if it's on audio and video, it turns different colors is here. So when I have you have the camera, it goes into your pocket like this, or you can, you know can hold it like this and pretend you're writing. So when I went to try to remove the pen from the shirt, <clears throat> it got caught here. I mean it was tight. So what happened was I just pulled it out a little bit. Even this one is still tight, and this snapped. I called the Amazon um, customer service. They were wonderful. They shipped me out a new pen. Um, so this pen is not the original pen in the beginning of the video. This is a new one because they replaced it because this part broke. So when I got the replacement, everything was fine. And then if you look at the cord, when I had the new charging cord, parts of this were all bashed in. So here we go again. The next day they ship me out another one. I ship them back. So here you look at a combination of three different products of um, the spy pen. The pen is you know good quality. It does write really good. As you can see, it does take um, record good audio. As for the video, you can see. Uh, I mean, don't forget, it's not a DSL camera, um, it's not a gimbal camera, it's what it is. So if you have it in your pocket and you're bouncing and you're walking, you're going to get shaky video. Uh, if you want to hold it, you know, I could pan it. I guess you'll get something, but the problem that I ran into is you don't know what subject you're recording, meaning you can't line it up, there's no eyesight, you know, like a regular camera. You look into a recording camera, you got your screen. You just have to uh, guesstimate where your video or subject it is. Um, it is an okay toy if you want to give it to a grandson, a granddaughter, let them play around with it. It might be, you know, pretty good for them to get an introduction to the electronics. Again, like I said, here's the L1, L2. Um, there is a very small switch in there. My SD card is in there. Um, all in all, um, for 20 something bucks, you know, if you're looking for a neat little Christmas gift, yeah. But if you're looking for, um, you know, like to catch somebody or your boyfriend or your girlfriend cheating, or, you know, it, it might be okay, but for anything else, 
I'm sorry to say this is my first video, but um, I will not buy this product. Um, it wasn't what I expected it to be. Um, the codes, meaning um, when you you can record audio, and then when you switch to the video, you can record video without audio. Uh, you can get the video with audio. You have to watch here, like if it blinks blue, blinks red, um, blinks red, blinks blue. The only reason I didn't put it on my video is because I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, the time frame from when I shot this video to the end, which is in April, is roughly a month. So that's how long um, and, you know, I've had time to figure this out. And I'm still trying to figure it out. But if um, I was looking for something, um, I'd give this maybe a one out of four stars. Uh, only for the fact that you've heard the examples with audio. It doesn't really come out good. You've seen the video. Um, again, I don't know what you plan on doing with it, but as for a toy, for a child, or if you want to record something, or if you you know want to make notes for yourself, yeah, possibly, but um, for me, nah. Um, I'm kind of sorry I bought it. But anyhow, hopefully this video will give some knowledge to you folks out there who is looking to purchase the um, HD cam that. Again, my name is Colin, owner of Head and Skies Drone Images. But stay tuned, you know, if you want to subscribe, subscribe, or hit the bell, as they say, but I don't tell people that because if you all are frequent YouTubers, you know what to do. Again, um, please check back every so often on my channel, maybe once a month, twice a month, <coughs> where I will have uh, new videos that should be coming out soon. Again, thank you for your time. God bless and have a wonderful day.